make a hair bonnet with me to do this you are going to be needing some type of silk or satin fabric this is going to be good for protecting your hair i'm going to be making mine with cotton fabric so the outside is going to be cotton and the inside is going to be this fabric right here you will need at least a yard I'm going to be needing a tape measure or a ruler fabric scissors pins matching thread for your fabric i'm going to be using a sharpie but you can use taylor's chalk you also need some safety pin you need an iron but it's optional and of course you need a sewing machine. I'm folding my fabric into four, or I'm folding it twice. So I have it folded once here. So this is one fold. And then I'm going to fold it one more time. So now it's folded twice, okay? So, over here, I have four layers. So there's one, two, three, four. So four layers of fabric. From the corner point right here, I'm gonna put the tip of my tape measure. And because I want this to be a really big bonnet, I'm going to measure out 20 inches. So if you wear braids or you have very long hair and you need lots of space in your bonnet to be able to you know, feel comfortable, I suggest making it pretty big. You'll be able to see how big mine comes out and then you can tell how much you want to measure when you're ready. But I'm gonna measure 20 inches from this corner point right here. And actually I'm just gonna make it 21 simply because I want to add at least one inch for allowance because my elastic is gonna be, or my elastic is one inch wide. So I'm measuring from the corner point, 21 inches, and I'm just putting a little mark right there. And I'm going to keep my tape measure right there on the corner point, and I'm just gonna move it over and mark another 21. Move it over again and mark 21. I'm just making as many marks as possible, so when I'm ready to connect them, I'll have a lot of them to go off of. 21 inches. Then I'm gonna come over again. 21 inches. Come back here. 21 inches. So what I'm going to do now is to just connect all of these marks. So to make this easier for myself and so that my fabric doesn't shift, I'm going to put some pins into it. I'm cutting along the line that I showed you guys. So I'm going to take my pins out of my fabric now and then I'm going to do the big reveal and show you guys what this looks like. Okay, this is huge. <laughs> this is huge. I think I'm gonna downsize it. This is probably like way too big. So I'm gonna downsize it. And in order to do that, I'll just fold it back and then fold again, pin the fabric so it doesn't move. I'm gonna try 15. I feel like 15 will be a better size. So measuring from the corner, 15 inches each time, and I'm just making a mark. Making that mark, 15. And then I'm going to connect those marks just like I did before. 
And as you can see, I'm really just freehanding this. The greatest thing about bonnets is that they're very easy to make. They don't take a lot of time. So if you happen to make a bonnet and you feel like it's too small or too big, you can always give that to somebody or you can just keep it for specific times. Maybe sometimes you have braids. Maybe sometimes you, you know, not have any hair on your head. That's if you end up doing a big chop or something. Or if you're a man, because men can wear bonnets too. All right, let's see what this looks like. I think this is going to be a lot better. Okay, this is a lot better. I'm going to work with this. I'm going to work with this circle. This circle is much better in terms of size. Now that this circle is folded like this, I'm going to take this point and I'm going to put it on top of this point. I'm going to cut around this. So this fabric is now acting as my pattern for the next piece of fabric. It's a nice big circle. Put these two pieces right sides together. Now I'm going to use my pins and I'm going to pin around the edges of the fabric. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine now and I'm going to stitch all the way around this circle. I'm going to leave a gap right here and this gap is what I'm going to use to pull the bonnet through to the right side. But this is where I started stitching and this is where I'm going to stop stitching so you can see the size of this gap. Space is going to be about five and a half inches. So I'm going to reverse stitch right here so that my stitches don't pull out. This is the gap. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to put it inside here and I'm going to go all the way over to the end and I'm going to pull it out. Now I'm going to just define the edges. So in order to do that, you can pretty much just do a little thing like this with your hands and just get the edges to be flat. So I'm gonna press it flat around the edges. I'm going to stitch one inch away from the edge. And that's going to create the channel that I can put the elastic into. So this is the elastic I'm using. I'm going to stitch on top of the line that I drew. Another big tip is that when you are sewing and you're going to end your stitch wherever you started another stitch you want to back stitch when you get there so don't just stitch there and then just leave it like that you have to come on top of the existing stitch and back stitch so i am on top of my existing stitch now so i'm just gonna press this a few times and that's good so now I'm gonna take this out here's another tip when you're cutting your thread don't cut it all the way up here cut it close to the fabric 
So this is what the back stitch looks like. You notice that space right there that has a lot more thread than everywhere else? That's the back stitch. You're gonna take your elastic and you're gonna measure around your head. Hold on to where you want to cut your thread. I mean, your elastic. So this is gonna be the length of mine. So I'm just gonna cut that right there. Use the safety pin to hook the elastic like this. And I'm going to slide the elastic in there. You wanna make sure that your elastic stays flat. I think my favorite part about this bonnet is gonna be the scrunchy effect that it gets. You'll actually notice that starting to take shape very soon, but you wanna just feed the elastic through. Pinning my elastic in place right here so that it will stay put. I'm just gonna keep on feeding it through the channel. You can actually wear it interchangeably if you want to. Okay. So this is where I can take the other end of the elastic, unpin it like this, overlap these two. And I'm not overlapping it more than half of an inch. Pin this and then I kind of want to like try it on to make sure that it's going to fit me the way I want it to fit so you notice we got a bonnet okay we have a bonnet guys this is the excitement that you get when you successfully sew something for yourself and I really wish this excitement on everybody seriously I want as many people to learn to sew as possible, especially young people. Because if young people don't learn how to sew, what's going to happen when all the elders who are doing the sewing are no longer here? We have to keep the tradition going. I'm going to take my sewing machine again and I'm going to stitch the two ends together. So I'm just gonna stretch this out, match up the fabric, and just top stitch that. I'm gonna do a reverse stitch right there. Boom, and then stretch my fabric. And you're gonna have to like tuck, you're gonna have to tuck the folds in or tuck the fabric in because you don't want any of those raw edges to be sticking out and you want to make sure that you don't stitch on top of the elastic reverse stitch again evenly distribute the scrunches and it's a bonnet the inside of it looks like and you see that cute scrunchy vibe going on right there and turn it to the other side yeah let me try it on now oops <laughs> i like this because it actually looks stylish This looks really good. Like, I'm so satisfied. I'm so satisfied. This is the beauty of being able to sew your own things. Because imagine how many of these I could make. As a matter of fact, if you're on this live right now and you've always wanted to start a bonnet business, now you know exactly how to make one.